All right, guys, if you clicked on this video and you found the title to be confusing, I'm hoping that I can open your eyes as to what's going on by the end of this video, and you'll be able to see more clearly actually what's going on uh, with these arm braces. So as you all know, there's been tons of videos put out about these arm braces. This really isn't that video that's explained to you why, you know, it's legal and you can put it to your shoulder. But I will say that it is legal to put this against your shoulder. And it's like I had told people all along that nobody was going to come to your gun range and be out there patrolling and searching gun ranges for people that are putting these to their shoulder. If you would have been committing a criminal act or you'd have taken one of these into New York City or Los Angeles, California and had it on an illegal AR in one of those uh, places, then they would have used this to the fullest extent of the law. But other than that, you were good to go. Why I wanted to make this video was to clarify a couple things because I'm seeing some of these gun channels put out videos and they're talking about the SB Tactical or the SIG Brace. And the information that they're given is pretty good except for some of the things that they're saying. Now these guys that are doing these videos are showing an SB Tactical Brace and talking about SB Tactical only. And then they're saying things like, well, that letter, it was sent specifically to SB Tactical. We can't speak for any other products, so we know this one, it's okay to shoulder. Well, that is completely and absolutely fake news. And I hate to have to call that out in the gun community, but it is fake news. And I'm going to tell you why it's fake news. Because while the letter was specifically sent back to SB Tactical, what was written in the body of the letter applies to all arm braces that were approved by the ATF previously. Just because, some, just because the DMV sends something back for my specific car doesn't mean that it doesn't apply to every other car on the road. And here's the thing. These guys are getting paid by SB Tactical to do this video. They're getting free products. And then they're also saying things like, yeah, and there's a link in the description below to SB Tactical where you can look up these products and these items and purchase them. That right there is a dead giveaway. Now, also, as with any of these arm braces, there is some things that could make it illegal or change the classification of the gun, according to the ATF, and could get somebody in trouble. I, I still <laughs> really doubt that it ever would happen, unless you were, like, like I said, committing a crime or had this in a state where everything's restricted. But, yes, it is legal, perfectly legal, to shoulder the shockwave arm brace. Now, in my opinion, I like the Shockwave way better than the SB Tactical. I tried the SB Tactical. It's a friction fit. It moves all over the place. It's, it can slide on the tube. And it, when you shoot, it can twist back and forth. This has a screw. And there is a buffer tube you can get that has the little dimples in it that you can screw this into. Now, with that, though, just be aware that with this particular brace, the Shockwave, if you were to put red Loctite on this screw and have it out here and Loctite it down as to make it like permanent, that could change the classification of this firearm. Uh, as in, in any of the other braces this is going to go for, if you were to affix it or attach it to the end of the barrel, do something to modify it, um, that's like with the uh, SIG brace. The only classification that it's legal with is the one that it was sent into the ATF. So there is no way to stop it from rotating on the buffer tube. So if you were to do something to the SB Tactical Brace, the SIG Brace, and to stop it from rotating on the tube, you have then modified that, designed, redesigned, made, remade, engineered, re-engineered, every other word that the ATF wants to throw at that, and you could get a charge from that or a reclassification of that gun. So in my opinion, the Shockwave is the way to go. I'm not doing any marketing for the Shockwave. This Shockwave, and I have a witness to this, this Shockwave is from a viewer of mine. It was on this gun when I bought it from him. Uh, he lives in the same state I do. And there was a transaction made between me and him. And this was on the gun. This is my only Shockwave blade. And there is no link in the description below to go and buy this product. If you want it, you got to go find it yourself. This is the way to go. This is a much better uh, arm brace, in my opinion. And 
I really do like it. I've used this gun a few times now with it, and I like it. Love the Aimpoint Comp M2 I got on here. Check out Sheepdog Gear on Facebook. He has a lot of this stuff, really good prices, and they're used, new, and just like, he has some that are, that are really worn, and he has really great prices on them. Everything's legit. He's got paperwork on everything. I, uh, I know the guy uh, through the internet. I don't know him personally, but I've known him for a couple years now, and I highly recommend him, and he's got awesome sites, and they all, they work well for me. I got a Comp M4 and a Comp M2 from Sheepdog Gear, so check him out if you want to get anything, and I've made no deal with the man. I'm just a guy that would like to help somebody else out. So if you guys go check out Sheepdog Gear and you buy something, all it's doing is feeding him and his family. It has nothing to do with me. But love the, the sights that he gets. People always ask me about them. This AR pistol was really fun to shoot. I had a great time with it at the range. My Comp M2 is all sighted in. I'm very happy with, with how it's sighted in. But I just wanted to make this video, guys, and, and clarify that any arm brace that the ATF has put out a letter and sent to the company and said, we've evaluated your arm brace, your arm brace is legal to put on a pistol, that all falls under the classification of the letter that the ATF sent back to SB Tactical. It just happened to be that the ATF was dealing back and forth with SB Tactical and their lawyers, and that's the reason that SB Tactical only got the letter. It applies to all arm braces approved by the ATF. So don't believe the hype. We got to keep it real here, guys. And I plan on keeping it 100% real with you guys. All right, guys, also, I picked a little something up and it goes in this box right here. It's not in the box right now. That's why it's so light, but I like it. I'm going to try one out and I'll let you know what that is with the video here real soon, but I'm really excited about it, guys. All right, guys, until next time, this is H4T. I hope you have a great weekend, and I'm out.